Hello and welcome to this tips and tricks video for Palo Scan 2019. Today I will show you how we can create a geobody of the salt in our 3D survey using the crossplot tool. For this, uh, we will need our internal velocity volume from seismic processing. And what we are going to do is to extract the salt body that usually have constant velocity. And we can then use this body as input to our motor grid as a constraint. And we can actually extract later the top and the base of the salt. So I will go ahead and close this window. I will use the blending viewer that we usually use it as a way to overlap two attributes. So for example, we also have another video on our YouTube channel showing how to extract or how to overlap two attributes using this window. And using the transparency, we can compare one and the other. But today, what we are going to use is the interval velocity twice as input in this blending viewer. And we are going to use the crossplot tool to plot the points of the same volume versus itself. So we end up, if I click on this crossplot tool, we will have the interval velocity versus the interval velocity values and it's just a 45 degree line but as you may see we can then go ahead in the section where we know that we have the salt and can easily paint an area using the brush tool to show where, where those points fall on my cross plot and I see a red dot here indicating that most of the points over here correspond to the salt so if I can go ahead and create a class oh, let me expand this tool here I can create a polygon a circle polygon around this area and you can see that it retro maps where I have my salt body that has a constant velocity if I need to modify the shape of this polygon, I can do so by clicking on this icon to edit this object. I have to double click on it and then I can reshape the size of my polygon. All right. So once I've chosen an area that um, corresponds to the velocity of the salt, I can then go ahead and click on the output creation tab and I can generate a geobody of this salt. Um, I will click OK to save and display and this will create a cross plot on the fly for all the volume. This might take some time depending on the size of the velocity volumes All right, so I've obtained a geobody that contains the salt volume for my entire 3D. Now I can see that there's some layers that have the same velocity or happens to be with the same velocity of the salt. We can filter this by using the geobody manual module. I will have to change to the selection mouse mode and double click on the geobody to then press this icon to split geobody based on the relative size of the geobody. So if I expand this window here, I now see that Palace can have split all the 
volumes and geo bodies so I can use this um, dragging tool to then filter and just keep the biggest volumes that will be probably my salt and if I click OK and I'll see on my 3D viewer the geobody corresponding with the salt so I have to save this geobody by selecting and pressing the blue disk I'll give it a name we'll call it salt and then I can go and I will close this window we'll minimize the cross plot tool and I will open a seismic section where I can go now and open the salt body that we just created and here I can select it again by clicking or double clicking on the edges and in the property display tab I can change the color and the um, shape or the pattern that we would like to associate with the salt. So I will change the pattern to be the salt pattern. I will increase the size a little bit and I will change the color to be pink. So here we go. Now I have created my salt body using the interval velocities of my seismic. Now if I want to create um, the top and bottom horizons, I can do so by selecting the salt geo body and double clicking on the edge of that body and using this tool of isocore map I will click on it, I will select the geo body, the salt geo body and then I can select which um, surface I would like to map the isocore of this uh, salt body. So in this case, I will do it first for the top. Uh, sorry, I need to select a uh, reference volume as a geometry volume. Click yes, and I'll show it in the three D. So I support and call it top. Then if I go on my three D window now. I've created the top horizon of my cell body. Uh, I will repeat this process. Now I select the volume again, the, the salt body, and now I will map the bottom. I again, select the seismic as a reference. Next, and then I'll call it. We'll click finish and Palo Scan will then extract the base of that geo body corresponding with my salt. And I now see on the 2D viewer, I can um, visualize it on the 3D viewer if I right click and on the on the top the window and click on display to the in 3d view then I have the top and base of my salt body easily extracted using the interval velocities from processing now I can use this salt body as well in the process of creating the motor grid if I go ahead and would like to calculate a new 3d motor grid to start the process of automatic interpretation in Palascan, I can select my seismic as input, I will use the focus point and then click on test, oh, reduce the size, test parameters, you'll see that Palascan grabs an area around my focus point and in this case I am also including all the points, even the ones corresponding with the salt. 
So I will get, have to go in the advanced options and search for the salt geo body. I will drag and drop it. And if I now press test parameters again, you see that Palo Scan won't create the nodes inside the salt. So this will help me on my interpretation in Palo Scan. Well, thank you very much. Please let us know if you have any questions. You can contact us on support at ellis.fr. Uh, thank you very much for attention and have a good day.